everybody, my name is Sarah. Welcome to Kids Following Jesus and Merry Christmas. I know you think I'm crazy, but it is in fact still Christmas. Do you know the song, The 12 Days of Christmas? Well, it's true. There really are 12 days of Christmas and it begins with Christmas Day. So we are still celebrating Christmas and let's go back to that song. Now I don't remember everything about the song, but I do know that there is a gift given every day. So why are we talking about gifts? Well, in the verses for today, it talks about a gift that God has given us. So let's go to our Bibles and we're in the book of Ephesians and it's towards the back. We're looking at chapter one, verses four through six. All right, let's read it. God chose us to belong to Christ before the world was created he chose us to be holy and without blame in his eyes. He loved us, so he decided long ago to adopt us as his children. He did it because of what Jesus Christ has done. It pleased God to do it. All those things bring praise to his glorious grace. God freely gave us his grace because of the one he loves. Did you catch it? What is the gift that God has given us? Well, he has adopted us as his children. Long before any of us was ever created, he decided that we were loved and forgiven and he gave us mercy and he accepted us for who we are. Now, what a fabulous gift that is. Now, what should we do with this gift? Well, what did you do with your other gifts? Did you keep them in their boxes and shove them under your bed and hide them away? I doubt it. That's not what I do with my gifts. You take them out, you play with them, you tell people about them, you show them to people. I bet everybody in your family knows what gifts you got for Christmas, right? So we should do the same with this gift. Now, what I want you to do this week is I want you to create something that reminds you that you are a child of God. Now it can be whatever size you want, whatever shape you want, whatever color you want. It can be built out of paper or Legos or whatever you want it to be. Something that will remind you that God has adopted you as his child and he loves you. All right, it can be tiny, like it fits in your pocket and it can remind you all day long, or it could be something that you just put into your room. Now, let's all pray together. Dear God, thank you for your gift of love and forgiveness. Thank you for your grace and giving us second chances to get things right. Help us to share your love and grace all our lives. Amen. Thanks for joining me this week, and we'll see you again next week.